You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. Our reading for today is lifted from St. Luke, chapter 4, verses 38 to 44. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a fever, very severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. And demons also came out from many, shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowds went looking for him, and then they came to him. They tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, To the other towns I also must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. God bless our day. Something upsets me in the latter part of today's gospel episode. It says, The crowds began looking for him, and when they reached him, they tried to keep him from leaving them. But he said to them, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other cities also. For the Father sent me for this purpose. Some might say, Hey, did Jesus ignore those people who have been there for ours? Did he not know that most of them were sick with various diseases and who came from distant places only to beg Jesus for healing? Quite disturbing indeed. St. Luke also narrates that at daybreak he departed and went into a deserted place, unquestionably to pray. Some of you might comment on this too, that Jesus could have waived prayer in favor of emergent need and service. Well, this is a lesson for us to learn. Jesus prayed first thing in the morning. He needed to connect with the Father before he did his special mission. That is what we need to. We must call on Jesus upon waking up and before doing anything important. We need to be enlightened and guided to remain in touch with God in anything we do. The Gospel also said, when the crowds reached Jesus, they tried to keep Him from leaving them. But what did Jesus tell His disciples? Let us go to the neighboring towns so I may proclaim the message there also. Jesus also needed to minister to other places where many people were waiting for His healing touch. Besides, Jesus has already spent several days with them and cured various illnesses. I remember the head of one NGO who got so frustrated with one village where his team he spent so much time and energy attending to the indigents' need during the height of the pandemic. After one week when it was time to minister to another village, the residents accused them of being unfair. They wanted them to continue their food supply and other services oblivious to other people's needs. Lord, sometimes we think 
only of our material and spiritual needs without considering the plight of other people. Please keep reminding us that not everything is about us, directed at us, or related to our situations. The world doesn't revolve around our problems alone, says one author. Other people have lives too, and we must remember them. Above all, teach us that whatever we think, state, or do will become fruitful only if we continue our union with you. Amen. Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day.